So in this video, basically it's a touchless um, servo motor application. So basically I'm going to demonstrate how can I control this servo motor using this infrared sensor. So let's see what's happening here. So right now uh, the servo motor is not moving. Let's assume its current position is at zero degrees. So this is zero, this is 90, this is 180. So as my uh, hand approaches the infrared sensor, see, notice the movement of the servo motor. So it's almost as if it proportionally changes with, my, with the movement of my hand. So as my hand gets closer, uh, the servo motor proportionally changes from zero to 180 degrees. So one thing to keep note of uh, regarding this uh, infrared sensor, specifically this type, uh, it has a certain range of uh, what, it, what it can measure. So notice as I get closer, now notice the servo motor, it reached the, its maximum uh, limit to 180, but it goes back, servo motor goes back. So right now we're back at zero, I get closer, 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 now it's 180. And uh, theoretically, it shouldn't be that way. Like, it should reach 180 once I'm here. Uh, but I'll explain in the data sheet. So uh, right here, I pulled out the data sheet uh, for the IR sensor. So you can Google this. Uh, you, you'll uh, find the PDF online. So first thing, notice here it says measuring distance for uh, starting from four to 30 centimeters. So basically this sensor will measure within this range. Outside this range, you will get inaccurate values. And if we scroll down here, so as the object gets close to the IR sensor, and uh, uh, so basically uh, less than four centimeters, the voltage will start to drop as shown here. So that's why the servo motor, like initially, it's at 180 and as I get closer it goes back because the voltage that uh, that gets converted by the sensor uh, decreases so let's go over the wiring so to the breadboard I'm providing a 5 volt uh, power supply from my Arduino board so I have the 5 volt pin here and uh, th no, this is the ground pin and this is the 5 volt so the red line is 5 volts and the other one is the ground pin. So pretty straightforward there. Uh, the servo motor, so depending on what type you use, uh, check the data sheet for the wiring. So this one, uh, so they have it pretty much uh, laid out for you from the color, from the color of the wires. So uh, the yellow one is the data, the data pin. So this goes to the digital pin seven I have here. The red is uh, 5 volts, and the brown one is the ground. Now for the IR sensor, so this wire, first one, uh, this goes to A0. This is the analog input, and uh, this wire goes to ground, and this last one goes to 5 volts. So if you use a different type of sensor, just double check uh, the wiring in the data sheet. So uh, let's go over the code now. So how I started with this, uh, I used uh, this example, analog serial, and uh, I added a few lines, so let's go over them. Uh, it's not very much complicated, it's very short as you can see. So um, you need to add the servo.h library for the servo motor, uh, define a servo object, so I called it my servo, you can call it anything you want. Uh, make this uh, vari uh, va value, so this variable will set the position of the servo motor. Uh, we'll get to that to the end. So in the void setup, make sure you have these. Uh, you can attach it to any digital pin you want. So as we said earlier, I attached it to pin 7. And then once we get to the loop, so what's happening here? So int sensor value is equal to analog. Uh, read A0. So as we said earlier, our A0 is our analog input. So it will receive the data from 
uh, the IR sensor. So this will keep looping. So for every instant it receives uh, from the sensor, it will send it to the microcontroller. Uh, so to our Arduino. And this is the general idea for it. So after that, we have the value. So we've defined that earlier. And so here we're mapping it. So it's, it's almost like scaling it in a way that our data that we received from the serial sensor, we scale it in a way our servo motor should understand it. So uh, based on trial and error, I made it to work with these values. If you change them, uh, it, it will still move, but you won't have it as I made it. Well, well it'll go from zero to all the way till the end. Like if you change it, sometimes it'll go from zero to 130, uh, sometimes 90. So I changed this based on trial and error and it came uh, like with these values. And uh, so <clears throat> my servo.write value. So this uh, value after it's received from the uh, from the sensor and it gets scaled. Uh, where do we send it? We send it to our uh, to, to our servo motor. So that's uh, that's where the position of the servo motor uh, occurs. So it's dependent on this value. This one's very important. And make sure to add this delay as well.